Hi, I'm Sam with Brick and New. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to talk on this video just a little bit about what it would look like to replace this mesh curtain with a nice set of fireplace glass doors. And we're, at, by the end of the video, we're going to show you exactly what it's going to look like and some of the options you might have when you're choosing a fireplace door and why you might want to go that route. If you look at the mesh curtain right here, mesh curtains are used for wood burning fireplaces. As you can see, there's gas logs in the fireplace right here. Mesh curtains are used with wood burning fireplaces to prevent sparks from popping out. Well, gas logs don't provide any sparks, so these really are kind of useless. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take these down. And it's very simple. There's a couple of uh, sheet metal screws right in here that are holding it in. And all you need to do is get a screwdriver or electric drill to pull them out and bam, this will come right out. So, let's take a look at this. So, I have my electric drill right here. All we're going to do is now take out these screws. Okay, we've taken the drywall screws out and you can see that it pops right out. And so now we have a clean opening here where we can put in a fireplace door. Okay, so we've taken out the fireplace screen. Now you can see it already opens up the fireplace a great deal. Getting that dark curtain off of the front of the fireplace really will help to lighten and brighten the firebox. We're going to put into the opening here a fireplace glass door by Thermorite. And I want to point out a couple things to you. Fireplace doors come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, finishes, and styles. We can meet at Brick and New, we can meet just about any need you might have out there. But we've chosen for this fireplace a uh, heritage model. This is a solid steel fireplace uh, door. It weighs about 25 pounds compared to the anodized aluminum. This is the best door you can get. One of the things that's become very popular uh, over the past couple of years is painted finishes. In the past, people would always put up a black door or a polished brass. We chose for this fireplace a bronze iron finish. And so we went, also went with the Heritage uh, fireplace door because it's got a thicker frame. Fireplace doors come in all different widths for the frame. You can get two inches down to a half inch. It just depends on personal preference. But we wanted something that would really bring out the richness of this uh, earth tone look. Okay, well you can see that we have the fireplace door installed here. And I think that the bronze iron does a wonderful job of complementing the brick and new, the earth tones that we've gotten on this updated fireplace. And it certainly gives you a cleaner, more updated look. So, as you can see though, we still have dirty logs and, and a dirty firebox there. So the next videos we're going to cover, should we clean the fireplace logs or replace them? And the same, what can we do to that back firebox to give it uh, an updated look? So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about fireplace doors, we sell a lot of them. We're one of the leading fireplace door companies on the internet, and we will get you the perfect door for your fireplace. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.